If you want to know how to install any liquid CPU cooler, well, you found the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a two-fan liquid CPU cooler in this PC right here. This is the Lurker V240 AIO liquid CPU cooler with cool ARGB lights. And these lights can sync with the motherboard via the 5 volt 3 pin interface. The V240 comes with a manual, the radiator with the CPU pump, two radiator fans, and some hardware. So first, we're going to install the fans to the radiator. And that's four screws per fan with a total of eight screws. And before you install these fans, make sure the airflow direction is push. It should push air through the radiator. And you want all the fan wires to run behind the radiator, which keeps those ugly wires out of sight. And this install I'm showing you works for one fan, two fan, or three fan setups. Next, we have to install the CPU pump bracket. The bracket easily attaches behind the motherboard using the provided sticky tape. Next, we need to install the four CPU standoffs for the bracket right here. You can do this now or after the motherboard is installed. We'll do it after. And our motherboard and CPU is Intel. But all CPU coolers come with an AMD and Intel bracket. Next, install the radiator to the PC case. And the best placement for our radiator is at the top of the PC case. You always want the CPU pump below the top of the radiator inlet, where the two hoses attach. After we're done installing the radiator, we can now install the four standoffs. Oh, and guys, don't forget, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you're loving it, hit subscribe and the bell notification. Thanks. After all four standoffs are installed, it's time to attach the pump bracket with these four tiny screws. And I forgot to mention this, the only tool you're going to need for this installation is a Phillips head screwdriver. Once we're done installing both of these brackets, we can then remove the protective film from the CPU pump. Now apply a generous amount of thermal paste to the top of the CPU. Then attach the pump. Then secure the CPU pump with the four screws provided. You want to hand tighten it first and then go back and use a screwdriver. Get it nice and snug. Now it's time to connect all the wires. This is the basic wiring for all CPU coolers with ARGB lights. The CPU pump and the radiator fans will both contain two sets of wires. One set of wires controls the fans and the pump. The CPU pump fan connects right here. And the other set of wires controls the RGB lights. We've already connected the CPU pump fan, so now let's connect the radiator fans. The two radiator fans will connect to a two cable four pin adapter that plugs into the motherboard CPU fan connection. So this is the ARGB controller that controls the lights for the whole system. There's a button right here you push, it changes the colors and the patterns. These two wires come from the two fans up top in the CPU pump. And this connection comes from the fan controller from the PC case. And don't worry, if your PC case does not have a fan controller, then just skip this step. And this connection goes to the CPU fan connector on the motherboard. And then lastly, we have the power that goes from the power supply to the controller, which is right here. After you finish connecting all the wires to your CPU cooler, go ahead and start up your PC and make sure all the fans are spinning and the lights are turning on. You can then play with the controller to find the right color scheme that you like. If your PC case is like mine and has a fan controller, and you connected the controller to the CPU controller, you can use the remote for the PC case to match the colors of the CPU cooler so the lights are all in sync. So this video should help you install any CPU cooler, all varieties and all brands, whether it's one fan or two fans or three fans. The setup is the same as well as the wiring. If you have any questions or concerns, Leave them in the comments below. I answer all questions. And guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.